you guys took your pictures of the, the quilt, which looks beautiful, and uh, I went through and hung 152 ornaments. Uh, we take one, I was saying, wondering why I was going through speed uh, racing with the ornaments, but we uh, had 152 different schools that made ornaments, and so we take a picture with each one to send to them and, and, <coughs> excuse me, and thank them uh, for helping us out decorate the, the Christmas tree in the rotunda and the two beautiful trees that we have here. I want to thank all of you uh, for coming, and particularly want to thank, to begin with, uh, the Wisconsin uh, Christmas Tree Producers Association, uh, which helps us uh, both with the competition for the, the trees of the award winners here, as well as uh, bringing the trees to the governor's residence. You have had a chance to be there as well. Uh, there's um, a whole um, mix of different trees in all different rooms on the first floor. They're open for tours this week and next week as well at the governor's residence. So in addition to being here, uh, we thank the Christmas Tree Growers so, uh, Producers. <coughs> You're going to the Producers Association for that. Um, and uh, we want to acknowledge a couple different folks. This year, uh, it's interesting, we're, we're, we're double up here in the conference room. We had a tie for the winter uh, with two different uh, Christmas tree farms uh, here in the state of Wisconsin. And uh, to represent them, we've got uh, uh, a, a repeat from uh, last year, one of our two winners, uh, Dave, uh, good to see you. Uh, Dave uh, and Mary uh, Vanderbilt are with Whispering Pines Tree Farm, and we appreciate uh, their trees, the one right behind us. And then we appreciate uh, uh, Tom Happerset, uh, who's right here, uh, from Hap's Homegrown Christmas Trees. Got that right? Yeah. <clears throat> who's got the beautiful tree in the corner there. We just had, <clears throat> normally in here we have, uh, uh, during the cabin, we have the cabin tables here in the middle, and, and people the other day were in a Monday and enjoying uh, both the trees, so we appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I was taking some pictures of the trees, and I hope people will be doing that uh, today and the days to come up to Christmas. Uh, I also want to thank uh, James and Deb Hoyda, is that right? Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, who are over here uh, who are providing, and they're with uh, Hoyda Tree Farm. Uh, we're providing the wreaths as well this year, so thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, and then I want to thank, there's a whole group, but particularly um, Cindy Haas and Patty uh, Hellenbrand who, when you go out and you see the tree and all the other quilters who helped with, uh, the beautiful new quilt wrap around the base of the Christmas tree is a, a brand new this year. Great team that helped put that together. I uh, appreciate that very much. And uh, And they pointed out to me before, as we were doing some of the ornaments, uh, some, some special items along the sides. You look, it's you have to look at it for a moment to see it, but it's got the same model forward all the way around the quilt. And then uh, I appreciate the fact that you pointed this out to me because there's 72 stars, big and small, just like all the counties, uh, but they're each represented. And then at the base, there's a big star for the state of Wisconsin. Uh, and you said there's one other thing that <clears throat> looks like it was folded into the quilt a little bit. It's unfolded now. It's unfolded now, perfect. And so what is that? It's a Motion W. Motion W is inside the uh, UW. University of Wisconsin, Wisconsin. So that's perfect. which fits because a lot of the ornaments I had from the kids there were Wisconsin traditions. As you might guess, a fair number of them had Wisconsin Badgers as well as the Packers and the Badgers and the Bucks and everybody else, Brewers and that, so it fits in perfectly. But it's a beautiful <laughs> quilt, uh, so we hope you'll take a look at it. Um, this one um, uh, comes after many years of, of service with the quilt. It goes all the way back to 1989 uh, when my friend Tommy Thompson was the governor. Uh, just to put that in perspective, it doesn't sound that long ago, but I was still in college uh, at that time. Uh, and uh, so it's had a uh, distinguished career. And the person who quilted that, I want to surprise you with a little uh, proclamation here, thanking her for making that quilt back then. Shirley McLean, come on up. We've got a uh, Sherry. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. She put a lot, of, a lot of work into that. So it's. We thank you for all those uh, years of use here, and, and now another one to add to the tradition. Uh, and so uh, we're pleased. I also want to say just in general, the the, uh, the tree in the rotunda uh, came from Anago. Uh, it is from uh, Jim Drager. Um, he got it, uh, got it down, brought it here in the whole bit as well. Uh, but I particularly want to thank the Christmas Tree Producers Association and all the members. There are over a, well, let's see the exact number I wrote down so I wouldn't forget here in the state. There are... Last year alone, uh, there were 950,440 trees harvested uh, in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, there were over 600,000 wreaths and garlands, so kind of like the wreaths 
we're going to have later than four, and there are 1,136 uh, Christmas tree farms around the state. And so, uh, as we visited before, most of them, uh, the peak time uh, is now around uh, uh, between Thanksgiving and usually all the way up uh, till, uh, probably some of you get people get them right around Christmas Eve. Uh, I would imagine some of the procrastinators out there. Uh, but it's a, uh, it's a key part of uh, our state's tradition. We're one of the larger states when it comes to Christmas tree farms in the state. And we appreciate that the Christmas uh, Tree Producers Association helping each year with this conference room and with the wreaths and with the trees of the governor's residence. And it's our honor to be able to, uh, to light the capital, uh, the Wisconsin State Capitol Christmas tree in just a moment. So we'll give the press a moment to, uh, to uh, reassemble out there. And we'll get that after they get set up. I'll we'll ask everybody else to come and join us if you go like the tree.